Coach Kim here, seasoned personal trainer. Let's grab that yoga ball, Swiss ball, stability ball and get ready to do a superset full body workout, easy to moderate. So I'm gonna time you. You need to put your smile on and remember to always check with your doctor before starting an exercise program. All right, Coach Kim here. We're gonna be doing a superset. So a superset is an exercise or it's two exercises where I alternate between two exercises with little or no rest. So for example, I'll do one A and I'll time you for 35 seconds. Then we're gonna go into exercise two. I'm gonna call that one B. And then we're gonna go back to one A for 35 seconds and one B for 35 seconds. So we're gonna do two rounds of a superset. And if you still didn't get it, just hang with me. I've got you covered. It's a full body workout targeting head to toe. If you have a pair of dumbbells, let's grab a pair of three, five, eight, 10 pound dumbbells, depending on your fitness level. So let's go ahead and get started. I'd like your feet wider than shoulder width to both toes facing forward. So your first exercise is gonna be a little squat and overhead raise. So let me show you first. I'm gonna demo it before we put this timer on. So I'm gonna have the ball out in front of me. Make sure that ball's pumped up too. You don't want it too soft. You want it nice and firm because we're gonna be laying on it later. You're gonna squat down and then lift the ball up, up right above your shoulders to work your shoulders and your upper back. So notice on my squat, my butt's getting back. Squat formation, my head's forward, don't look down and then come all the way up. That's your first exercise. Second exercise, you're gonna engage your stomach. Keep that tummy nice and tucked into your body there, suck in your gut, and I'm doing a little twist. And notice how my foot's just naturally turning. Let your, don't worry about your feet, your body's gonna naturally turn, but you're working that core. So let's get ready. Starting with exercise, I'm calling it 1A, squat with an overhead raise in three, two, one, squat, raise. Excellent, remember to always breathe in your nose, out your mouth. You never wanna hold your breath when you're exercising. So the squats work in the quadricep, which is your thigh, your hamstrings behind your leg, your butt, your arms, your upper back, by adding this ball movement here. Squeeze that ball with your hands and you're gonna feel it in your chest a little bit too. Whew, you realize you could do so many things moving this body and movements, medicine, motions, lotion. You got a few more seconds, hang in there. Up, up, up. Let's get one more for fun. Whew, and breathe, good. So we're moving on to exercise 1B. This is the little twist. Hold the ball with a nice little squeeze with your hands and you're gonna twist, ready? Here we go. Boom, right here, tummy tight. And again, when I say tummy tight, I want you to suck in the belly button to spine like someone just gave you a sucker punch, okay? So I don't want you sitting there doing this thinking about what you're making for dinner, all those fruits and veggies you're gonna consume throughout the day and tomorrow. I want you to think about your abs, good. And those of you that do rotational things like sports, like golf, tennis, these are great exercises to do for that. Yes, and if you get dizzy, just mix it and move on to the next exercise. Keep going. Three, two, one. Good, how's that heart rate? We're going back to the first exercise, okay? You're gonna be a pro now. Your brain's gonna remember. Do you know you exercise a lot when you, your brain when you're exercising here? Okay, ready? And go down and up. Yes, that cognitive health, cognitive thinking. We gotta keep moving our bodies. That's such a critical part of keeping that brain healthy too. Get that blood flow going, yes. Down and up, and again, we're shooting for 35 seconds. Keep that head looking forward. You're not looking down, are you? I don't want any of this stuff, unless you wanna wake up with a bad back. Okay, down and up, squat and lift. And we're gonna be using the squatting motion until you're 110 years old. So keep squatting. You got one more and perfect, good. Okay, one B, back to the twist in three, two, one, good. Get a hold of that ball. Some of you might be going, hey, I need to go pump it up. It's okay on these first couple exercises. It's not till later that you'll know if you need to pump it up. <sighs> Keep that tummy tight. Let your foot turn naturally. There you go. Engage the tummy. Nice turn. Whew. Breathing in your nose, out your mouth. Whew, thinking those happy thoughts. It's a great day to be alive. Keep going, a few more seconds. I got you covered here. You don't wanna think, you just wanna move. Rest, good, we're moving on to 2A and 2B. Now this next one, we're gonna be working some upper body. I'll show you some options in case you have shoulder issues. So pick a weight depending on what kind of fitness level you are, anywhere between a pair of three pounds all the way up to 10 pounds and more if, uh, if you're able, okay? It's gonna be for 35 seconds. So how do you know you have the, white, the right weight by the time you get to 35 seconds, your body's really talking. You're going, hey, I'm really feeling this. Is Coach Kim done with that time yet? 
So let me demo the first exercise. It's called a chest fly. You're gonna sit on the ball. Now, if you've never done this before, what I'm walking down and up on the ball, you probably need to get next to a wall or a per steady person or a chair to help you with this because you need to learn to walk down and do this without weight first. Let me show you, walk down, let your head relax on the ball and hold the hips up. That looks like fun, doesn't it? Yes, but some of you might go, oh my God, I'm gonna fall. Well, don't think about that part. Just be mindful and get yourself some nice padding in case you do. And what do you do when you fall? You get back up, okay? So don't worry, just make sure you got lots of cushion around you. And if you're, you're nervous about this, you can do this on the floor without the ball. Okay, so the first exercise looks like this. Grab your weights, you're gonna come down and keep in mind, the more you do this, the easier it's gonna get. I promise you're gonna be really proud of yourself. So come down, we're gonna face our fear and do it anyway. Neck is rested on the ball. My hips are up in the air. So you know what's cool about this? I'm working the glutes, the hammies, and my lower back at the same time I'm doing flies. My palms are facing each other. I'm gonna let my weights come down, make a fly, and then come back up. I noticed how my arms went parallel to the ground. Pretend you're giving Santa Claus a big hug and you know he likes a lot of sugar cookies. So soft elbows, breathe out, come up. So your tempo looks like this. One to two, two to three seconds down, one second up. Two to three seconds down, one second up. Okay, that's gonna be the first exercise. Second exercise, arms up. You're gonna need a lighter pair of weights for this one, smaller muscle group. You're gonna bend the elbows, bring the knuckles to forehead, don't hit your head, and then come all the way up. By the way, are your hips up? You're gonna go down, keep those elbows to the ceiling, and breathe out and push up, okay? So get in position with your ball, let's get ready. 2A, chest fly, three, two, one, down slow. The down part, that's where gravity pulls against you, is always slower than that up part. Yes. Now, if you feel fear of the ball or you've got some kind of back pain or something doesn't feel good, just do this on the floor. Come back up, good. And if you've got some shoulder issues, you can do the fly without weight or just get a pair of ones, okay? Or just, like I said, use no weights. Down, all the way up, keep those hips up. Is your head relaxed? Good, keep going, a few more seconds. Another one, good. Okay, rest up for a sec, let that lower back rest. Grab your lighter pair of weights. So if you used a pair of, let's say you used eights for those flies, which is pretty tough weight, drop it down to fives, okay? Threes or fives, ready? Here we go, back of the arms. Three, two, one, good. Palms are facing each other, go down slow, and then breathe up. So the down part, the eccentric phase is gonna be two to three seconds down. One second up, good. And you're breathing out during the exertion phase. So this is where I'm breathing. You got this? Of course you do. You're saying, I've got this, Coach Kim. And you know what? Every time you do this, it's going to get easier and easier and better and better. And I personally would love you to do this three times a week, two times at a minimum. But if you could get three times a weekend, that would be really great. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and rest. Good. Okay, we're going back to 2A on the chest flies. How was that weight last time? Was it just right? Use it again. You need to lighten it, maybe add a little more. And remember, the weights don't make you bulky eating that whole cheesecake to yourself. That's what makes us bulky. Okay, hips up. Let's do a nice little chest fly. Ready? Three, two, one. Excellent. And breathe out. Now, this chest fly, if I didn't mention already, works the chest, is your pushing muscles, your shoulders. Oh, yeah. And by being on the ball like this, the huge advantage besides balance is you're activating more of the core. You're working the posterior chain back there, which is your hamstrings, your glutes, and your lower back. Go down slow. So this ball really adds a nice element to the workouts. Down and up, perfect. Up, 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 let's get one more for fun. Down and up, excellent. Let that lower back rest, grab that lighter pair of weights. I hope you got them sitting next to you because you're going to the back of the arm. No one wants to wave and say hi without that. You don't want that waving around a little bit. So we're gonna tighten up that muscle, ready? Set, let's go, down slow, breathe out, push up. So resistance training, that's anything dealing with resistance. So it could be weights, barbells, dumbbells, it could be your body weight, TRX straps, bands, resistance bands. Resistance is resistance, and it's important we get at least twice a week full body workout targeting all the major muscles. Three is even better, okay? So keep that in mind. Whew, down and up, and this definitely counts as your resistance training. And as you get stronger, add more weight. And 
rest. Perfect. Let's see how you get back up on this ball. Again, sitting back up. Okay, that will get easier, I promise you. That's the hardest part is getting on and off that ball. And you might need to practice for a little bit before you, uh, you master that. Okay, three A and three B. Now the dumbbell pullover. You're gonna grab one dumbbell, preferably a larger dumbbell if you can. And then uh, we're gonna be doing abs too, the lower part of the abs. So let me show you this first exercise. You're gonna actually let your feet just rest on the ball, bring the ball up to your butt. And what's nice is your back's really gonna like you for this. But grab your heavier weight. Okay, I know I'm going a little light with the five here. What I want you to do is keep your back flat, hold it the weight by the neck. Arms stay straight as you go back behind you, slow on the down, and then come all the way up for one second right above the chest right here. Most people really enjoy this if you have bad shoulders. Go lightweight or you can even use a dowel or a broomstick. The second exercise, oh, you're gonna love this one. Well, it's kind of a love hate. I want you to heel grip that ball and you're gonna lift it up, hold for one second. Go down slow. Yes, the weakest part of the abs is the lower abs. Lift, whew, hesitate, down slow, and that's what this one's working. It's called a reverse crunch. If the ball's too big, you can wrap your legs around it to help there, okay? So let's get ready for the dumbbell or the dumbbell pullover. Three, two, one, excellent. Bring this back behind you, keep the arm straight and then come all the way up. So remember the down part, two to three seconds down, one second up as I breathe out. Oh, you're doing great. Down, you're gonna feel so good all day long. You're gonna say, I did something for me today. And it's important you take care of yourself. You know, exercise is one of the best antidepressants ever. You know that? Ah, yes. We just need a little bit of the motivation sometimes to do that and let me be your motivation. I'm happy to help you there and then come all the way up, perfect. Weights down, let's heel grip the ball. So grab it with your heels, hands by your side. Reverse crunch, ready, set, go. Lift up, hesitate, go down slow. I don't wanna see this, okay, none of this. I want you to come up, hold, down slow. We gotta work the tummy, and a lot of people ask me, how do I work on this, you know? Well, we're just gonna stay here till we get a six pack. No, I'm just kidding. So, <laughs> I want you to focus on that diet. So what you need to do is be mindful of what you're eating and drinking every day. Not only the calorie counting, but what kind of food are you eating? Do you eat real food, fruits and vegetables? That's where you need to be shopping that out of perimeter of the store. A couple more. That's a lot of diet and body composition. I'm just saying, one more. Up and rest. Good, let's go back. Super sets are really great. Ready, set, go. They're really great for timed exercises, and the fact, or if you, you're hurting on time, because as my abs are resting, I get to work another muscle group, okay? So if you're working buys and tries together, maybe I'm working my biceps for 35 seconds or for 10 reps, and then I can work my triceps. So my buys get to rest while I'm working my try. So supersets are really nice, uh, efficient, timely, good workouts. Up, up, up. I do a lot of them with my workouts. Okay, back behind you. Come all the way up, and I hope you enjoy it too. One more. Behind you, all the way up, good. Now put that weight down. And by the way, if that weight was too easy, go a little heavier next time. Just a little bit heavier. If you used an eight, next time use a 10. Okay, heel grip, three, two, one. Palms down, lift up, hold, down slow. Yes, lift up, down slow. Keep that tummy tight, lower abs. That hesitation makes a big difference. Whew, yep. And some of you might be saying, hey, can I just work out like every day, do this workout every day? Well, my, my advice to you is if your muscles are sore after doing a workout or two, it needs to rest. They need to heal and repair. You don't want to overtrain. And it's good to mix things up. So maybe do one of these videos with me today and then tomorrow maybe do a, um, a different type of workout or go for a cardiovascular training and rest. Go for that long walk. All right, the next one, inner thigh squeeze. Oh, <laughs> inner thighs. Some of you going, yes, I need to work that. So I want you to put your feet around the side of the ball here. My back is flat. And anybody remember Suzanne Summers? You can do it, girls. We squeeze those little thigh master thing. This is kind of like that thigh master. You're gonna squeeze the ball. I want you to breathe and keep the hips down and then release. And I'm gonna have you hold it for two to three seconds on the squeeze, big time inner thighs. The second exercise is the glute bridge. So you're gonna have your feet push the ball away. It's like on the ankles there on the ball, hands by your side, and lift my booty up in the air, 
and then I'm going to come down slow. Some of you are going, oh my God, my feet are all over the place. Well, you're the boss of those feet. So you can always do your glute bridge on the ground like this if it's too intense. So let's go ahead and get started. First exercise for this one, that we're on 4A by the way. Feet, inner thigh squeeze ready, set, go. Squeeze that ball. Three, two, one, release. Are your legs shaking? Here we go, squeeze. Three, two, one, release. I really like this one. Very effective for those inner thighs. And squeeze, three, two, one. One, and on your off days, as I mentioned, get some walks in, get some steps in. Three, two, one, release. Good, keep her going. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Three, two, one, release. We're only doing 35 seconds. Squeeze, three, two, one. Beautiful. Okay, put your feet on that ball. Push the ball away. Hands by your side with your palms down. Let your head relax. You're gonna lift the booty up in the air, and if this is too intense, remember to put your feet on the ground like I showed you. Ready, and go. Lift up, come back down. Yes, this ball adds a nice element to fitness, doesn't it? Whew, it's kind of fun and it does get easier, I promise. Going all the way up, squeeze the tushy. It's working the rear, it's working the hamstrings, it's working the lower back. Movement's medicine, motion is lotion, and I love it. Every cell in your body loves this. Saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep going, yep. All right, you can laugh at me. I'm used to people laughing at me. All the way down, we got one more. All the way up, I'm gonna make exercise fun for you. Excellent, good, bring that ball up to you. Put your feet around. You remember the inner thighs? Oh, some of you guys are going, yeah, I remember my inner thighs. Let's use them. Three, two, one, squeeze. Three, two, one, release. And I'm just doing the little two, seconds, two or three second squeeze. Two. Three, you can do what you want. Some people want to do one second, two second, three second. Personally, I think it's good to change it up every time. Two, one, good. And squeeze again. Three, two, one. Are your hips down? Three, two, one. Are you breathing? You got 10 more seconds. Squeeze. Oh, you're doing great. Two, one, and I'm proud of you. You should be proud of you too. Three, two, one. One, excellent, good. You're making time for you and you know you mentally and physically always feel better when you do that. I know my family likes me better when I work out. I like me better. Hands by your side, get ready, push that ball away. Three, two, one, lift that booty up. Glute bridge, come back down. Yes, it is tougher than a regular glute bridge. I know it is. All the way up. It doesn't challenge you, won't change you, right? Come all the way down. Good, push it up, 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 up. You're doing really well. Come back down, all the way up. Beautiful, and you can get these balls anywhere, guys. You can go, Vive Health sells them all the way up. You can uh, go to any of the major uh, retail markets, all the way up. <sighs> Come all the way down. Good, one more, up, 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 all the way down. Good, so we're on our last superset coming up. I don't want to neglect your lower back. Do you realize 84% of people have issues with their lower back at some point? So I'm all about prevention. If you don't have issues, let's prevent and strengthen those muscles. If you do have issues, let's strengthen it. And this is a nice basic exercise, extensor exercise. Let me show you first. You're gonna lay over the ball, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. I'm gonna lift up my opposite arm, opposite leg, get your limbs parallel to the ground. And I personally like to put my thumb up because it activates that shoulder girdle. And this actually, um, it helps a little bit. So people that have balance issues that do the bird dog without this actually tucks it in, makes it a little bit easier. Then keep your weights nearby you, because what you're gonna do, I'm moving my knees back a little more, elbows on the ball, and I'm gonna curl. See that right here? That's gonna work the biceps. Think spaghetti strap dresses, girls. Guys, you're thinking I'm getting buffed, you know what I'm saying? Most importantly, you wanna feel good. So, let's go ahead and start with the ball bird dog. Ready, knees under the hips, hands under the shoulders, thumbs up like Fonzie. Remember who Fonzie was, right? Three, two, one all the way up. Those of you under 40 are going, who is Fonzie? Well, that's okay, I'm gonna make you Google it so you have to check it out. Let's just say put your thumb up and be cool. All the way up, and come back down, all the way up, come back down, excellent. So get those limbs parallel. Now, this is like having Brussels sprouts for your lower back. I love Brussels sprouts, but my point is it's really good for you. Mm -hmm. All the way up. Some of you are going, I don't like Brussels sprouts, but you know what? Maybe eat some vegetables because you know, you'll find another vegetable you like that's good for you. All the way up. 
drop. Good. Now we're moving on to the biceps. Back the knees up a little bit. Make sure you got to push your yoga mat or beach towel on your knees there. Be more comfortable. Put your palms up with a moderate weight. Okay, lock the elbows onto the ball. This works the lower bicep. Ready, set, go. Curl up, go down slow. Let the dumbbell touch the ground. Now, what I don't want you to do is death grip the dumbbell. Okay, so relax your grip. What I want you to do is squeeze the top of the arm, which is your bicep. Good. Keep your tummy tight, all the way up. And remember, we're only doing 35 seconds. I told you this is full body. Hang with me, down slow. Breathe out as you come up. And remember, this part's down slow. And at the end of 35 seconds, if you feel like you could do like 10 more reps, it's not heavy enough. Up and slow. Good, put the weights to the side. We're going back to the bird dog. Whew, you ready? Hang in there, we're almost done. Three, two, one. Get that thumb up, opposite arm, opposite leg. So good for the brain too. Whew, we're getting that cognitive reserve going and it's very important. Some of us don't think about uh, aging. Some of us do, some of us don't. But I'm just passing along what I learned with a lot of my studies and I love to read and learn that all this movement adds up. It's like putting a deposit in the bank. You know how you, you save over time for retirement financially? Well, it's the same thing with your physical. Every time you take a walk, it's another deposit. Every time you do a workout like this, it's another deposit. Rest up so you never know when you need to uh, pull out later in life. So keep putting those little health deposits in. Elbows on the, on the ball. Last one, hang with me, three, two, one, up, 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 down slow. This is the last 35 seconds, lift. Now, if the ball's bothering you, of course, I'm a little late in telling you this, but if it's bothering your stomach, some of you are going, hey, I'm too full or I'm uncomfortable, you can always stand up and do this or just do curls sitting in a chair, that's fine too, or sitting on the ball. Okay, breathe out, come up. Hey, as long as you're moving, you do what works for you, okay? All the way up, down slow, 10 more seconds, lift, down slow. Whoo, we got time for one more after this. How are those arms feeling? Up, down slow. Good. Now, if you found you've been doing this workout for a while, that's uh, maybe too easy for you, I want you to try the moderate to advanced one. So if this worked for you, I want you to stay with this for a while. Build up your weights as you get stronger. Um, and remember, build muscle, think happy thoughts, and be consistent.